when you're not eating at all, you, you, you're in starvation. And before I really started to commit my life, um, I thought I was healthy, but uh, I was starving. I can barely stand right now Everything is crashing down And I wonder where you are Tyrone Poole is a former New England Patriot and two-time Super Bowl champion. He's our guest on this episode of GPS, God, People, Stories. I'm Jim Kirkland. And I'm Phil Fleischman. Tyrone's going to talk about coming to the realization that he needed God in his life. And then after that, Billy Graham is going to talk about the same thing. I can't live the Christian life. Billy Graham is a total flop when it comes to living the Christian life. If you'd like to know more about life as a Christian, check out findpeacewithgod.net. It'll help you understand what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Or if you're already a follower of Jesus, you can use the resources there to go deeper in your faith. The address again is findpeacewithgod.net. GPS. God. People. Stories. Tyrone Poole won his two Super Bowl rings in 2003 and 2004. He has fond memories of playing for New England, a franchise that won their fifth Super Bowl just a few weeks ago. First and foremost, uh, the organization in itself is a first-class organization. Those are some guys that really helped me to really understand what type of player and talent that um, I had and and the player that I could become. Coach Belichick... um, He's a guy that um, he's one of my favorite coaches. Um, And as far as Tom, uh, Tom Brady, I think, is one of the most competitive uh, guys. He's a great guy. He's a competitor. And um, I love my days in uh, New England. Tyrone was a defensive back for the Patriots. He also played for the Panthers, Colts, Broncos, Raiders and Titans during his 14 year NFL career. Growing up, Tyrone played football and other sports in the streets of LaGrange, Georgia. His family struggled financially. Tyrone says even though his parents couldn't buy him a bike or basketball hoop, he was blessed to have a mother and father who taught him about God. I've always uh, been in church. Uh, As the old saying goes, you know, I've always been in church, but the church always wasn't in me. Um, And uh, I remember Back when I was a young kid, my dad had a black Bible, um, black leather uh, uh, cover. And what stood out in that Bible to me that I still remember to this day, and I'm talking about when I was real, real young, it was the pictures, the pictures, uh, seeing uh, uh, Moses uh, parting the Red Sea or seeing Jesus as he was talking to the multitude. God used the illustrations in that black leather Bible to first catch Tyrone's attention. But Tyrone wouldn't fully surrender his heart to Jesus until later in life. In the meantime, Tyrone Poole became a standout football player at Fort Valley State University in Georgia. Then he was drafted by the Carolina Panthers in 1995. After playing three seasons with the Panthers, Tyrone was traded to the Indianapolis Colts. It was in 2000, his third year with the Colts, that Tyrone made that decision to surrender his life to Christ. I'm thankful and I praise God. Uh, You know, I hear people testimonies that... uh, they had to hit rock bottom or they lost everything or some crucial event happened in their life. That wasn't the case with Tyrone Poole. Instead, it was the realization that he just wasn't following Christ like he had learned to do as a child. That realization came while Tyrone was reading 1 Corinthians. Well, it's kind of like the Bible says again, you know, you you have those that are on milk and then those that are on solid. Um, when you're not eating at all, you, you, you're in starvation. And uh, before um, I really started to commit my life, um, I thought I was healthy, but uh, I was starving. I can barely stand right now. Everything is crashing down. And I want to wear you. Here's my 
It was when Tyrone realized that he was starving spiritually that he made the decision to go all in with Jesus. And then after I made the commitment to say, hey, I want to do better, then I got on milk and I started to see things a little bit differently. I started to realize that there are certain places, which I've never been a person that that, that partied or, or anything, but uh, there are some sins that are, are you know great, small, but it doesn't matter if it's great or small, sin is sin. And I just wanted to be excellent in the eyesight of my Lord and Savior um, and just follow a pattern that was set before me. And uh, it allowed me to see things differently, uh, continue, and it also strengthened me uh, uh, in areas so, uh, that made me the person I am today. Another thing that's helped Tyrone grow in his faith is a passage from the Bible in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Meditate on the word day and night so you may have good success. So uh, I just wanted to have uh, good success. I didn't want to just have success, but uh, there are some things that can change your life. And uh, it doesn't have to be detrimental to make you want to come to Christ. But I thank God that I didn't have to hit rock bottom to realize that I needed uh, to have ultimate success, success in Christ. Success is a reoccurring theme in Tyrone Poole's story. For example, he had great success in the NFL, winning back-to-back Super Bowls. But Tyrone doesn't consider that to be his ultimate success. He says the single most important and meaningful thing that has ever happened in his life is having a relationship with Jesus Christ. He died for my sins, and I see myself as I know who I am now. I know what I can do. I know why I can do it, and all my needs are met, and I know that whatever I need, my father, I have someone there that can give it to me. So for anyone that says, hey, I don't have a mother, or I don't have a father in my life, or I'm in a bad situation, uh, I need somebody to help me, well, you have all that in Christ. You have a father. You have someone that can give you favor and help you overcome. So it's all about receiving Christ. It's all about believing who you are, what you can do, and what you have according to the blood of Jesus. We are survivors. Because of Jesus' blood, you and I are forgiven. The Bible teaches that Jesus bled and died on a cross to take away the punishment we deserve for our sins. In other words, God loves us enough to die for us. And all he asks in return is that we surrender our hearts to him and turn away from our sins. And that's exactly what Tyrone Poole did in 2000. Are you ready today to make that decision for yourself? You can find out how at findpeacewithgod.net. One more time on that address, findpeacewithgod.net. In just a minute, you'll hear what Tyrone Poole has been up to recently, now that he's not batting down footballs and picking off passes in the NFL. You're listening to GPS, God, People, Stories, a production of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. I can't live the Christian life. Billy Graham is a total flop when it comes to living the Christian life. Billy Graham. The Holy Spirit must live it through me and in me. There's a necessity for conversion, to be forgiven of sin. Wouldn't you like to be forgiven of every sin you've ever committed? That's a part of being converted, to go home tonight and know that every sin is forgiven. It's under the blood of Christ. When God looks at me, he doesn't see Billy Graham. He sees the blood of Christ which was shed on the cross for me. And it's a gift. You can't earn it. You can't work for it. It's a gift. God just gives it to you. If you reach up and receive by faith, you don't have to do some great thing or go through some great experience to know Christ. You just come like you are and say, Lord, remember me. By faith, I receive you. I don't understand all about you. I don't understand all about what Billy Graham has been talking about, but I do receive you. If you'd like to hear more of this message, go to BillyGrahamRadio.org and search for this title, Be Converted as a Little Child. It's just one of over 1,600 messages by Billy Graham in the Billy Graham Audio Archives. Go to BillyGrahamRadio.org. Now back to the hosts of GPS, Jim Kirkland and Phil Fleischman. 
We've been chatting with former NFL player Tyrone Poole on this episode. Since his retirement from the NFL in 2008, Tyrone has spent time as a football coach, motivational speaker, and author. He wrote about his journey in a book titled Ultimate Success in the Game of Life. Tyrone wants to inspire the next generation to do great things for God's glory. He says greatness starts with knowing Jesus and knowing the Bible, which he likens to a pair of reading glasses. That was what the Word of God was for me. Uh, it allowed me to see things better and, uh, you know, just playing in the Super Bowl, um, you know, just taking in that event, just seeing how far God has brought me from where I began and uh, to be able to reach back and help other people uh, has been tremendous. Tremendous indeed. We want to thank Tyrone Poole for joining us and sharing his testimony on this episode of GPS, God People Stories. And we thank you for listening to these stories. I'm Jim Kirkland. And I'm Phil Fleischman. We also want to thank The Afters for their music on this episode. GPS is an outreach of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. Always good news. Won't you-